Hey guys, FHG here, Furry Hippo Gaming. We're looking at some Summoner's Glory Eternal Fire. So when you get to this page, choose your gender, your skin, your color, put in my promo code FHG. That is right, Furry Hippo Gaming. That will allow you to get a free starter pack. We are on server three, Phantom's Glory. Go ahead and join us. Furry Hippo is the guild name we are using. So once you do hit level 20, you can go ahead and enter into the guild. We do have room for you right now, but it is filling up very, very fast. Again, when you start the game, promo code FHG in that box. Let's go ahead and we'll get into the game. Hey guys, welcome back to some more Summoner's Glory. So we are here with day three. That is right, guys. We have two more days remaining of the Labor Day event. So this is day three. Day one, we're gonna go ahead and do our third check-in. So just a quick pulse check of where you should be at, guys. So day one, two, and three should be done. Four and five, we still have. Killing monsters in total, we have 200, 400, 1,000, 1,800, 2,500. Those should be done, as well as sending your roses to a friends. Those should be all done at this point as well. Getting into day two, win the arena. We've already won it 25 times. We do have to hit up to 40 um, to get, again, looking for these key of eons. So with the arena, you can only do this every now and then because it does have a long cooldown time. So right here, we have 20 more minutes till we get another one of these cards, meaning that we only get these very, very limited guys. So you have to make sure you're keeping this probably under two or four. You don't want it to cap out at 10. If it does cap out at 10, ultimately you are not going to be able to complete this event um, if you're not utilizing the cards on a regular basis to go ahead and finish out that part of the, the second event with the arena. Looking down here, manually clear the Phantom's Abode. Um, this one you do have to do manual. You can't go ahead and use the Battle Assistant. So ultimately what I've been doing is there's really two that you wanna farm. And again, depending on where you are, number one is this stage 10, because if you look at the final abode, boom, right there, you have a chance to get an S-class secret dancer, meaning that you have a 10% chance to increase her, um, her ability or her skills. Ultimately, the higher the skill level, the better she is going to be by far. And the other one that I'm also focused on that I finally finished today, is when it comes to Merlin, guys, for the exact same reason. Right there, you can get SS fragments of Merlin and you can get S copies of Merlin to go ahead and build up his ability as well because he is by far the, the single target DPS master of um, Summoner's Glory. He single target, he can burn down other heroes so fast because he has an attack that hits 12 times, does a ton of damage, plus he has the ability to to um, go ahead and boost his own attack. So I would definitely farm up one of those two heroes. So ultimately looking down here, Phantom's Abode, we've already completed all of that. Farming out a hundred times, you, using silver books. This is why we had said for the last couple days, save all your resources. Right now I'm at 14 or 414, a 480. I have to go through and start evoing um, heroes at this point. Remember, Labor Day 3, we're gonna look at really quick, but ultimately, you don't want to do many evos right now until this event comes up. During the event, evolve one Phantom to Evo 2, Evo 3, Evo 4, Evo 5, and Evo 6, guys. So that is a ton of evolutions. Ultimately, since this Evo event is up, Go ahead and build one of each of those Evos. Again, focusing on the key of Eons is what you want to look at. Guild donated two times. If you are not in a guild, you have to join a guild, guys. You have to go ahead and hit up these donations. Make sure they're done. Donated 10 times in a guild. So what we're going to look at right now, looking at the guild and the bonuses, guild fragments. So this is where we have to donate our fragments. There we go. So we'll donate here. Um, we'll go ahead and make a wish, and I just want anyone really doesn't make a difference um, right now what it is because I want those donations, guys. You have to have to request the donations in here. If you do an A, you only get, I believe, four right there. So four other guild mates can go ahead and contribute to this. If you do an S hero, you can only do two. And I believe if you make a wish for an SS hero, you can only do one. 
So during the event, to get this done with all of the members, you're going to have to just request these A Phantoms. If you go any higher than A, you're gonna limit the guild with the Phantoms that you can get. Ultimately, you, you have to have enough guild members to go ahead and contribute to this to finish out that event portion. So we got one piece of that done, just one donation open right now, so one of two is complete. And again, you have to get these keys because of right there, the key of eons. Strengthen any equipment successfully five times, 15 times, 30 times, 45, and 60 times, guys. That is a lot. This is the reason why I said, when you look at your equipment, um, pick up some of these lower tier two gears, even um, so, some of the very, very basic gear, because essentially these are gonna be really, really cheap to enchant because you're not using your very, very high, um, just like my five star gear, it's super expensive to go ahead and enchant, which I'll show you right here. So we'll go ahead and upgrade to enchant our gear. Five stars that take 1600 and one of these elite boost stones, so that is pretty expensive. Our two stars only take 200 in one of our starter boost. So again, very, very low resources ultimately um, to go ahead and build these. Right here, 1600 on a gray piece, 200, which I believe if you have just no stars or even um, the, the one star, it is equivalent to, I think it's only 100. So ultimately, guys, you have to make sure you do have some of these starter gems. So I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do for those. But essentially, if you have a lot of resources like this, for instance, we can just choose a piece right here. Um, our two star has a 100% success rate. Once we level it up one single time, there we go. So one enchantment. Now it goes to 240. We need another stone. But now if I go to another piece, my success rate goes to 90%. Next piece, it's up to 100%. So you can just go through, I can go through actually all of these two stars, add one level to them, maybe even take the chance of adding two levels to them. But ultimately guys, once you enchant the gear, save the gear. I, I repeat, I, got, I have to say it again. Once you enchant the gear, save the gear. Um, on day four, I believe it is, they are going to have a smelting party. So just the opposite of enchanting the gear. Look at everyone just stacked around here to enchant the gear. So ultimately on the other side of upgrading the gear, they are gonna require you to melt it down. So again, save all of the gear that you're enchanting. Just go ahead and enchant it up, save all of your resources, save everything until either one, the event ends or two, um, you max out what you need. So essentially here, we're going to go ahead and enchant our gear 60 times. We're gonna complete all of this. We're gonna pick up our keys. We're gonna sit on all of that enchanted gear until we need it for the next portion of the event. So again, you should be progressing in the arena as much as possible once you get some of those, um, once you get some of those arena challenge scrolls, um, ultimately going through the abode, all that you can using all of your silver books up to 480, that is where I would stop. And then of course the evos guys you have to get into the evos evos take a long long time so i do it by by um quality so i actually go there's an evo one one there's a two one so we can actually just grab a one essentially with these i'm really really out so we have one s and then we have a couple ss's the s's we usually save for material to go ahead and use in um, to, to sacrifice. that That's our sacrifice material. So ultimately, let's go through here. So we'll get an Evo. We have a couple, it looks like, that are already in here built. So there is an Evo 2. So now when you get to the Evo 2, just like that, guys, they are Evo 2. You don't want to use any Evo 2 material unless you're building it to SS. So it does have to be an SS class hero to go ahead and use the rest of the evil two so we can actually get him to an evil one as an SS hero. Um, here, you wanna use four evil ones, but again, when you go from evil two to evil three, you wanna make sure it is an SS hero. It has to be an SS hero, because once you start getting up a little bit further, even this evo is four. Once you get to level three, you can only combine SS phantoms as you see right here. 
Even coming down here, right here, once you get to three, it is N equality. Once you go to four, it is SS phantoms, guys. So when you eat all of these evils, you can take them to three. You cannot take them from three to four because they have to be SS quality going forward. So make sure any of the evils you are taking to evil three are the SS quality. I, I gotta, gotta repeat it, that it has to be the SS that you're taking to evil three. That is really where you want to stop. You don't want to take an A hero to evil three. You don't want to take an S hero to evil three. You want all of your evil three heroes to be that SS rank, guys. All right, so that will do it for day three. So ultimately, um, make sure we're, we're making a lot of progression through here. We're fixing up, got it, our phantom right there, getting a ton of chests out of here through this event, a ton of keys. I'm gonna actually save them all to the last day so we can go ahead and redeem them. So let me know in the comments if there's anything that I missed and how you guys are progressing with the Labor Day event. And as always, thank you guys for watching.